Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to paint some super loose florals with these dagger brushes. Uh, these are a little longer than you may have seen. Typically they're a little shorter than this, but these are a long-haired dagger. They came from Cheap Joe's. They're called Scroggy's Loose Goose because they're so long. Um, I'm going to get this wet here for you and show you they come to a really nice fine point. In fact, these are often called sign writer brushes because sign writers like to use them so much. But I have a way of painting with these that is super fast and super easy that I think you're going to enjoy. So to get started, I'm going to use a number five for the main part, the petals and, and the larger leaves, but I'll switch over to a number one to do the smaller detail work or smaller leaves. So let's take the five and really get it saturated with the pigment. I've mixed up some cadmium free yellow and raw sienna the raw sienna really brings down the brightness in that yellow. And I've left it kind of a thicker mixture than typical. Not too thick, but kind of thick. So if you place your brush down and just start wiggling it around, you can twirl it, wiggle it, do whatever you want. You can make the first petal and then same thing, place your brush down and just start moving it around, mainly the tip. You know kind of anchoring that belly down on the paper. I'm going to paint five petal flower but for this first one I'm only going to do three petals because I want it to look like maybe two petals fell off. As you see that one the last petal is not as round at the tip and that's great. Uh, that's what I like about this brush. You never really know what you're going to get. Sometimes you get little pointy end leaves and sometimes not. Up here in this top corner I'm going to put one that's we're looking at from the side really. So we'll only do three up there as well. And then I'll put a full flower down here somewhere. We'll do all five petals like we're looking straight at it. And you can you can twist it you can smash it down, you can twirl it, you can just move it however you want to get just a basic petal shape. I don't really fuss too much over these shapes. And I didn't mix the paint completely, so that's why we're getting some darker tones and some lighter tones. I did not thoroughly mix it. That's another way of getting multiple colors in something, especially when you're not going to be dropping in colors into a real wet painting. Now I'll go to the number one and we'll do some of the smaller leaves around each flower. And I'm gonna use a mixture of sap green and olive green. And I like to Start at the flower and then pull it out and away as I'm twirling and twisting. And that gives a nice fine tip to the leaf as well as makes it look like it's either twirling in the wind or maybe it's an older leaf that's starting to curl up. And this paint is a little thick as well. And we're just going to kind of let it do whatever it wants. We're just going to twirl it. And this tip is, is very nice for stems because it's so thin and you can make it thicker just by pressing down on the brush a little bit. And, you know, it, it makes it very organic rather than if you twist and twirl your brush while you're painting, then you're not going to get those straight, smooth lines. 
especially like for tree branches or this area here where it's thicker, it's a little branch that's thicker, you can twirl it around and it'll make very organic branches. And I did not dip my brush in water before I dipped it into the Van Dyke Brown. And that's why we're getting that variegated look is because I also had green still on my brush. Now, I think I'll go over to this grabby number three and do the centers of the flowers using that Van Dyke Brown. I'm just going to do a basic center. I just want a base layer here. I'm not going to do it perfectly round, just round-ish. And it'll be kind of light because this is the base layer. So now we'll let that dry and we'll come back to that. I'm going to go back to the larger dagger brush and I'm going to put some of this greenish umber in the mixture. I'll put some olive green in with it to bring down the blue that's in the greenish umber and make it a little more organic with some olive in it. And I'm going to drag down a leaf, Ooh, a little too much, from the tip toward the branch and twirl it as I go. That's good. And one more over beside it. Yeah. yeah, I think I'll do a large one down toward the bottom here. Oh, oh, well, okay, my paper moved on me, but look how great that turned out. I love that. I'm glad the paper moved. I like seeing all those colors. Kind of, you can see the blue that's in the greenish umber, and you can see the olive green. I like that. And I'm going to add just tiny little details here. It's always nice to put something very small, something medium, and something large in each one, just to keep it interesting. I think I'll go back to the one and do a few more smaller leaves, maybe with a little more sap this time. Yep, this flower looks like it needs something else. And that's pretty bright. That sap green is really coming out. So I will need to add a little sap green to some of the other flowers just so that it doesn't look so odd being the only spot with that much sap. I'll add a little dimension. Here we go. And I think I want a few more leaves up near the top. Balance this out a little bit. Yeah, right here. That's good. They're a little lighter, so that's nice. Add something there. You see how fast this painting happened? I think I'm going to use sepia. I forgot what it was called. Sepia here to bring out the centers. I'm not going to completely cover it up, but I'll just add some little detail here in darker tones. And I'll add some of this to that top one because I think it needs just a little something else. So it'll be kind of like we're looking down into this flower as it's opening. Okay. I didn't even have to speed this one up. This was so fast. I typically speed them up because they take so long to paint. But this one is real time. 
So in about 10 and a half minutes, we have painted this whole thing. So I hope you'll give this a try. It's very fun watching the shapes come out of this dagger brush when you twirl it around like that. So please give it a try. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you back here again soon.